first and foremost, the testimony itself. What does that mean to you? That means a lot. Um, obviously, 10 years service here. I've sort of grown up here. Um, so yeah, it means a lot and it gives me obviously a chance to celebrate it with people that I've been here for 10 years with and to thank people. Josh, I've just touched upon the 10 years, Jez. You'll have known him from the very start then. Just, just give us a little bit of an idea of how he developed over that time. Yeah, not so badly. That would um, be nice. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. No, look, I think everybody who knows Josh would have a really high opinion of him. And I think that it's very, very unusual now for footballers to spend 10 years at any one football club. And to do that in the city that you're born in and the club that you supported makes it even more special for Josh, I guess. Um, I just think he epitomises everything that's good about the football club. Um, he's a fantastic ambassador for the club on and off the pitch. Nothing's ever too much trouble for him. The amount of work he does in terms of um, our community engagement is fantastic and he does that genuinely and, and never um, with anything other than a real enthusiasm and a desire to do it properly. And on the pitch he's been involved in some of the most iconic moments for the club in the last few years. I mean, I guess we'll go back and do a little bit of a trip down memory lane later, Tom, but at the, at the minute, you know, first league goal or first goal back in the Football League couldn't have been a better person to score it, I think. That sort of um, was the perfect moment and um, the, the two games at Wembley and the game here against Man United, that was stuff that Josh has really contributed in the recent you know, success that the club's had. So the, there'd be no more deserving case for a testimonial ever anywhere at any football club than, than Josh is here. The testimony dinner, dinner itself, just give us a little flavour of what we can expect on the night and, and who you'd like to see there. Well, I'd like to see everyone there, anyone. Um, so we, it's on the 13th of May, we're going to hopefully have a table of legends who will get interviewed by Max throughout the night. Uh, just a good chance for me to say thank you to everyone and, and spend a, an evening with everyone from staff at the club to players past and present to the fans as well. And, and, and let's be clear about this as well. But the testimonial is because Josh has played in the conference with us in League Two. So he's, you know, for people think that footballers earn fortunes. They don't, not at this level. I know that he hasn't. And it's really important that the club looks after him. And one of the ways we can do that is to help him raise some money at these events. So, you know, there'll be a golf day that follows and there'll be a pre season game that we're just trying to finalise at the moment so we can announce that soon. But you know the big thing on the night, as well as everybody enjoying and celebrating Josh's 10 years at the club, is to make sure we raise a few quid for him and his family because he deserves that. You know, like I say, players leave to go to different levels and, and earn big contracts at certain levels of football. But you know, in League Two, it's not like that. So it's really important that a club like Cambridge United, when Josh has been so loyal through difficult times for the club um, and played under contracts in the past that were probably being underpaid, to be perfectly honest, because the club relied on some young players to get us through difficult times. So it's really important that we pay that back and, um, and look after them. You know the chant of one of our own, well, there's, there's no more, you know, there's no bigger case of that being than, than Josh. So on the night, everybody will have a good time. We'll have some real um, iconic names of the past at Cambridge United. There'll be loads of good memories. We'll try and dig out one or two of his goals um, and one or two of his good moments. You know, the one against Plymouth from a, from a few yards. Um, but the most important thing is that we can get everybody here together to raise some money for Josh and, and make sure his testimonial is successful, um, but also an opportunity to, to thank him for what he's done for the club and to enjoy a, a really good evening, reminiscing about the, um, yeah, the recent successes as well.